So today we are going to demonstrate the second stretch, which is a hind leg stretch. As I'm sure everyone watching this video knows, the hind end is the business end of a horse. You definitely don't want to be kicked, especially if you are actually trying to help limber your horse up for an exercise routine or a training session. It is important that you remember that a horse can kick out to the side and out to the back. So when approaching a horse's hind end, I like to come in at this angle. So I come in from the side to the front of the hind leg. Now, as I ask, I bring my hand to the inside of the horse's leg and I keep my body very close to the horse's hind leg. This is important because if the horse does kick out, it is unlikely to hurt me if I'm this close. If I'm far away and I get the end of the arch of the horse's kick, that's gonna hurt. So I rub my hand down the inside of the horse's leg and I ask the horse to pick his leg up. I put my right hand, because I'm on the left side, under the toe. Again, I'm supporting on the fetlock and the paston joint with my left hand. It is very quick and easy for me to just take my hand away in case the horse stomps his foot down to the ground. I bring the leg up into what is known as a farrier position. If you see your horse getting shoes or getting its back feet trimmed, this will be the position that the farrier will hold the feet in for a short period of time. Once the leg grows heavy in my hand, I know that the horse is relaxed. I will lift the leg up and stretch it a little bit forward, just getting some stretch in those massive muscles at the back of the leg. Then once I'm satisfied with that stretch, I'm going to take a step towards the horse's stifle and then towards the back, staying very close to the horse's hindquarter with my body at all times. Supporting the horse's paston, I'm going to gently ask the horse to stretch his leg back out. I'm not pulling at any point. This is not a pulling action. I'm waiting to feel that the horse is relaxed and then I'm just asking for more and then waiting and then asking for more. Yeah, so that was too much. So I'm going back, asking for a little bit more. And then I'm coming and slowly lowering the horse's leg back to the ground to support the horse's weight. So as Pluto Odaliska beautifully demonstrated, this is the kick zone. Horses, even the most even tempered horses can sometimes get a little bit particular about having their hind legs handled. So please always keep in mind the safety of yourself and the safety of your horse as well. Work in an environment that is very open so that you don't end up getting pinned against a wall in a stable or a solid surface. Another good tip as well is to make sure that before starting the stretch, your horse is standing as squarely as possible on all four legs. This means that when you pick the horse's leg up, he's able to rebalance his weight on the three legs that are staying in contact with the ground. This means he's less likely to try pull away from you because he feels unbalanced or insecure in the position. Thank you and happy stretching.